The first time I got on an airplane, whilst everybody were having jitters and praying and closing their eyes, I'm the one that was sitting by the window seat. Or can I sit by the window seat? I want to see outside the window. I grew up with my dad being a pilot. Pretty much the only thing that really excited me was being a pilot because then I would be able to travel and I'm always learning new things. I liked the idea of being a pilot, but I didn't really know I could go to school for it. My dad was a pilot. He graduated from Heston College. It wasn't until really I got into high school and I started actually taking classes in aerospace engineering and I really discovered that it's something I really love to do and I wanted to pursue more. One day I was flying through the Atlanta airport and I'm sitting on the train thinking of, you know, how I'm going to find a job in my current field and I just wasn't excited about it and a, a pilot walked on the train with her kit bag and her hat and her uniform was crisp and it, it got me really excited and I thought that is something that is really neat and specialized and takes commitment and training and that's, that was the moment I realized I wanted to be a pilot. If you want to be a pilot, you have to be disciplined. You have to be determined because it's not easy. I basically just navigated myself into this direction because I knew what I was looking for. The biggest thing that has kept me going is learning a lot about myself. We're learning about aircraft systems that I had no idea coming into it, anything. I learned about how I study, um, what I need to keep going when it gets hard. I feel like for being a woman in aviation, we definitely stand out. I didn't have another person who was where I was at, studying what I'm studying. I especially felt that last year, being the only woman in, enrolled in the college flight program. I didn't have someone else who could relate to me on a lot of the same levels. Stepping into this field as a woman pilot, looking back, I see the challenges, but I embrace them. I can only hope that I'm paving the way for girls behind me because there's only about 3% of women in aviation. A big part for me has been finding a community of other women in aviation through social media um, and we could connect and hear stories and I think from them I enjoyed being able to connect with other women and to realize what I'm feeling I'm not going through alone. Going to Heston I think especially having like you know four other four other women in aviation just like having support and stuff and that has been super nice. It's really nice to have those other females there that we can do homework together or we can just even talk about like the struggles we might be going through or the feelings we might be feeling. You could see more females not feeling so intimidated to get into the field. If it's anything, you have females that saying, you know what, I actually do like doing this. You have female mechanics, you have female engineers, why can't we have female pilots? I think it's great to have Amy as a professor because she's the only female professor we have. It's nice when we have her at the airport and it's nice to have her as a resource in class or on campus. And to see a woman in aviation as my lecturer, that also was like, wow. We invite all students to bring their own perspectives, their passions, their skill sets to Heston College where we create not only professional pilots and air traffic controllers, but also people of integrity and professionalism. And if I don't understand something, I feel so comfortable to go to my lectures. I feel comfortable to go to Amy or, or email her or call her and ask her, you know, well, I didn't quite get this. When I did first show up, I was amazed at how quickly we got in the planes. We were out here. We were doing pre-flights and then we got in the planes and we just took off and it was just amazing and it was like wow I'm here and I'm actually doing this. It wasn't easy starting off and realizing I had to not only fly but in order for me to be confident when I flew I had to kind of understand what the systems were and what they were doing because if something were to happen and it, they were to malfunction I wouldn't know what to do unless I kind of knew my systems. You have to prove yourself when you step in the flight deck and show the person next to you that maybe has rarely seen a woman next to them that we're capable of being a pilot as well and flying an aircraft safely. It's special to be a woman in aviation.